Hey y'all. Uh, we're back down to the furnace down here, down there, American Standard here, and I, I got her jumped out down there, and got the got my uh, door switch taped off right there. And uh, what I figured we might do today is uh, I was going to like test everything in the sequence of operations that I can uh, electrically, and uh, you know in the sequence of operations like we discussed earlier, first thing it's going to energize here is uh, this inducer motor. And she is rated at, she's 115 volt and she's rated at 1.35 amps, okay? Um, all right, let's, uh, I've got the amp probe hooked to her and uh, we're ready to rock. Uh, she just can't exceed that 1.35. Let's see what we got, we're going hot. There she goes, she's kicking. There she is. Okay, 1.1. One point zero. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's see if we can. Uh, I've got the the wiring diagram with me, and uh, let's uh, let's trace her back and uh, maybe actually make a simulation like uh, she didn't fire here. We wanted to see whether or not we were getting power to her. Okay. And that's going to entitle us going down to that Molex plug. But uh, you know, like I said, right now we've got that uh, we've got the. Uh, Amp probe hooked around our hot wire right there, and uh, we're getting uh, 1.0, 1 1.1, and uh, we're good. Okay. Hey y'all, what I did was I went upstairs and got my furnace book, and uh, I copied my uh, schematic and my uh, wiring diagram here. And uh, as you know, we were just did an amp draw on our motor here. And uh, what I think is cool about that amp probe, man, is uh, Brett was right, man. I can utilize that to tell if I do have electricity flowing through any of these wires. Okay, it's just a quick, quick step. And uh, then you can uh, test your voltage to see what you're actually getting. But that way you can verify if, you know, you have uh, current flowing through there. But uh, anyway, what I did was I got here and uh, on my vent motor here, this is the black and this is your hot wire. And I traced it back down to the Molex plug here. And it's uh, the black is number six on the on the inducer motor here, and then I came I found uh, my white coming off the inducer motor, which is my neutral. Traced it back down. White is number six, so you have a black six and a white six for the inducer motor. Uh, this is actually easier to look at. Uh, heck, you can look dead at it, and it's going straight to white is on your number three pin, and black number you know the black and the white number six is on your one pin, and the number three is on your three pin. Okay, um, let's uh, do another, let's do a voltage test now. Let's say we weren't getting, uh, uh, let's say she wasn't turning or, or whatnot, but let's just uh, verify the voltage on this, okay? And what I did here was, uh, I advise y'all to be very careful doing this. I know a lot of y'all don't do this, but what I did was, uh, I took and I put me some paper clips where I verified which uh, which wires and each one of them is marked you know there's your there's a five and the other five is for the uh, uh, hot surface igniter and here's your six and there's your uh, black six and that is for the uh, inducer motor okay well let's uh, let's go hot we should uh, we should be getting about 110 115 120 something like that all right, y'all, here we go. Okay, so we just verified we have voltage going to that fan. And of course she's working, but you know, it's all about working your way back or working your way forward. Once you figure out, you know, you have this, you know, you, you go on to the next step, okay? And uh, the next step is gonna be that, uh, actually it's gonna be that pressure switch, okay? So uh, let's verify that electrically, y'all. Okay, just bear with me. Hey, y'all, uh, we're going to move on to the pressure switch here, our next sequence of operations. And I uh, went ahead for giggles, put the amp probe around my hot, hot wire coming in right there on the pressure switch, that orange wire there. Um, let's see what we get. All right, she, 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 she's uh, not a high amperage by, by no means, but uh, it is showing we do have uh, current present. Okay, let me, uh, let me test it electrically real quick. Okay, y'all, we're ready to test our uh, pressure switch electrically here. 
Um, you know, of course, we're going through the order of operations. Inducer. That inducer is going to ramp up. She's going to pull her up to, I believe, we're looking at 1.15 water column here. Should be 24 volts uh, applied to her. Once uh, you hear her make, once you hear her click, she's going to, uh, uh, the current's going to drop out. 24 is going to drop out. However, that 24 is still there. The switch just made. All right, let's go hot. Let's see what we got. Listen for that click because this is going to be fast. There's the 24 applied. Should hear a click. There she goes. She just dropped out. Okay. She's doing her job. Next order of operation is going to be igniter. Let's check her out. Okay, y'all. We just uh, did our uh, little uh, voltage test on our uh, pressure switch here. And we've seen that uh, uh, once the inducer motor ramped up enough to pull that diaphragm in, uh, you know, we've seen our 24 volts immediately and then it looked like it popped out of the loop. But what I wanted to do here was actually like prove a point. There's still electricity flowing to there. And here's our pressure switch here and it's on the number 10, uh, on the number 10 pin on our low voltage side. And that's gonna be that orange wire. So what I did here was, uh, like I said, please y'all be careful doing this. But uh, what I did here was I, I found my low voltage Molex plug here. And I don't know if you can see it right there. And there's that orange wire which is feeding our pressure switch. And then I took uh, my other lead off my field piece and I took it up here to comment on the board. So just to prove a point, uh, you know how she knocked out, you know you know how fast that was. It was like seconds and then, you know, we got, uh, we got 24 and then boom, she was out. And it looked like the voltage was gone from there. But here's proving the point here. Listen for that click on that pressure switch. All right, there's the inducer. Bam, we got the 24 volts. Yeah. She would have dropped out by now. Let's see, here she goes. She's going to fire and everything. See, there's still voltage uh, applied to it. Okay, y'all, we're uh, we're gonna test the hot surface igniter here. See if we have voltage uh, coming up to her. Uh, this is uh, you know how we did the uh, inducer motor there, and we determined the wires feeding that uh, the high voltage Molex plug down here uh, was uh, the black six and the white six. Now we're gonna utilize the white five and the black five. Okay, and, and they're uh, these wires are well. Trust me, there's a number on there somewhere. But anyway. Uh, Got to do this kind of quick. The inducer is going to kick. Pressure switch is going to prove. Uh, the uh, hot surface igniter here should be about an, uh, 120 volts or so. And, uh, you know, we got to do it quick because you're going to a lockout. Okay, we're going hot. Let's see what we got. There we go. 120 volts. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, if we didn't have 120 volts here, it'd probably be telling us our board's bad. If we do have 120 and that she ain't glowing, I better kill it before we go in lockout. If uh, if we do have 120, like we said, like we do have, and uh, the hot surface igniter ain't uh, glowing red, uh, that's a uh, key indication you got a bad igniter. Uh, culprit could be, you know, the it's cracked or some, something like that. But uh, let's uh, move on to our next order of operations, and that's going to be the gas valve. We're almost done. Bear with me. Okay, y'all, we uh, checked the inducer. That's our first order. Pressure switch. Hot surface igniter. Now we're going to the gas valve. Uh, a lot of these gas valves have the uh, the terminals that actually stick up above this little plastic doodah here. And see that little plastic doodah I got on my, my for my terminal there? Uh, female side of it. Uh, she fits in there super tight, and I don't want to risk, you know, jobbing my probes down in there and breaking this housing. But anyway, what this is going to do is we're going to, you know, get, prove that we get 24 volts here. Um, if we do get 24 volts and the gas valve don't, don't open, it's pretty much cut and dry. You have to replace the whole thing. Okay. But uh, let's see what we got. Now she'll hit, but uh, then she'll go into a lockout because, you know, the gas valve ain't going to open. But the uh, inducer motor, pressure switch, igniter. She's going to get glowy red, and then it's time for the uh, gas valve to kick here. Looking for 24 volts, y'all. There it is. We got 24. Okay, now she's getting ready to go into lockout. There it went. Okay. 
All right, that proves 24. Okay, let's move on to the flame sensor. Y'all, let's uh, check this uh, flame sensor out here. And the way you do that is uh, you test the micro lamps on it. And uh, what you do is you pop that, pop this female plug off here, and you and you take one of your probes into there, and you take your clip and you clip it on the other on the flame sensor itself. Uh, this will be test will be in micro lamps on a 120 volt system. <clears throat> we should be getting anywhere from two to four. Okay, this is one of the last order of operations for the blower kicks. Well, I guess it is, but uh, we'll go over uh, uh, limits and safeties and stuff like that at a later date. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, go hot and see what we got. Looking from anywhere from two to four. Inducer motor. Pressure switch clicked. Nighter should start glowing. There she goes. Now we're looking at anywhere from two to four. Gas valve's going to open here at click. There she goes. All right. Two to four microamps. Charge going crazy. Let her stay in that flame for a minute. What are you doing? Huh? Did you see a, see a kitty cat? Squirrel hunting again? Go on. <laughs> crazy dog. Okay, yeah, we're we're right right at three, and I said like two to four. So she's in that flame pretty good, and that's what it's all about being in that flame. Now, if your furnace ever, you know, you fire up, and that, uh, you know, your uh, hot surface igniter uh, kicks in, and there's the blower. Okay, let's see what she does now. But uh, and your flames go out like a couple of seconds later. First thing I'd probably go to would be that flame sensor right there. Get a little steel wool and uh, polish her up real good. Just be very careful on that ceramic. If you break her, you've, uh, you're, uh, <laughs> you're gonna be buying a new one, just put it that way. Okay, y'all. Hey, y'all, we got her buttoned back up, and she, heck, she's done met temperature and all. It's uh, nice and toasty in the house. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope this helps some of y'all out, uh, especially the new people coming up, you know, all the fellers, all the new gals coming up in the trade here. I know how hard it is getting started. Uh, I, I've been there. But uh, to my brothers, Dallas, I copied every one of them you sent me, brother. Look at all the relay stuff, man, I can play with now. You don't know how much I appreciate it, man. You don't know how much I appreciate your time and everything. That goes for you too, Stank, man. You're a good brother, man. I think the world of, world of y'all. Uh, nothing to it, Jason, uh, Mikey, uh, Dr. Z, my new buddy Brett here, man, thank you so much for all your input, brother, you don't know what it meant to me, man, I, I appreciate it so much, uh, reckon y'all take care now, oh yeah, Dallas, check this out, brother, <laughs> I'm getting every service manual for the ream line, baby, it's on the way, it'll be here Monday, alright, y'all, take care. Bah.